Hello guys, in prep for your exams, the maths GCSE exam, um, I just want us to learn an acronym that would help us to find the mean from a frequency table. So the acronym is MAD. And what it stands for is the M stands for multiplying across, the A stands for add, and the D stands for dividing backwards. Now, this is an example of the first frequency table we're going to use. So we're going to use uh, that acronym MAD to find the mean. So you have multiplying across 10 and 30. If you multiply that, you get 300. 20 and 5, you get 100. 50 and 10, you get 500. The next says add. So we're going to add all this column down and also this bit here. And you get 900 and you get 45 there. Now the D stands for dividing backwards. So we're going to do 900 divided by 45. And you're going to get 20 for the mean. Another case is this one here, which is a group frequency table. With the group frequency table, you need to find one value that will represent this class intervals here. So 16 and 20, if you add 16 and 20 together, you get 36. Halfway of 36 is 18. So that will be your new weight for that first class interval. The second one, 21 to 25, if you add 21 and 25, you get 46. Halfway of 46 is 23. That will be the new weight for the second class interval. And the third class interval here, 26 at 30 is 56. Half of 56 is 28. That will be the new weight for the third class interval. Now we can use the math to find the mean by multiplying across 2 and 18 gives 36. 7 and 23 gives 161. 1 and 28 gives 28. Now we can add the columns. So if you add, you should get 2 to 5. And you add this bit and you get 10. Now the D is divide backwards. So we're going to do 225 divided by 10, which gives us 22.5. And that is the estimate of the mean. I use the word estimate of the mean for this group frequency table because it's a group frequency table. I hope that helps in finding the mean from tables. Thank you.